Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Armored Brigade, a brand new tactical uh, combat simulation which looks at a hypothetical third world war any time between 1965 and 1991. It is a game that has just come out by a studio which I believe is pronounced Vedica Studios, uh, and it is published by Slytherin uh, and Matrix Games. And I've been playing it a little bit. I've, I've streamed it the last couple of nights. Uh, well, actually, this stream is from just the other night. But, um, yeah, we've been playing through an individual scenario pitting the Soviet Union against the Finnish. The Soviets are trying to cross a river. The Finnish are trying to stop them from taking a series of strategically important crossroads. And in our first episode, which was literally my first look at the game, uh, we started our troops in motion, showed some of the menus and basic features of the game, and then uh, we started fighting. We've knocked out a pair of enemy T-55 tanks. We've lost a lone T-72 tank of our own. And that's where we are right now, the very beginning stages of a battle. We'll see how things play out. But I'm just going to turn myself back over to that live stream and uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys at the end. But we're moving these guys into the rubble. To use that as some cover. And this tank's going to move back here, sort of in the rear to cover the lead tank. From here, what can they see? Okay, so they can see pretty much this whole area in here. So this is actually a pretty good overwatch, I think, for troops trying to cross the river. So that's probably what we'll start doing here very shortly. I don't know if there's a time limit on this battle. And we can use these headquarters to accelerate our unit's response time. So, like, we can move our headquarters forward a little bit. Um... So, like, I think the closer to the front these headquarters are, the faster units will respond to orders. Let's go ahead and move these guys quickly toward the, um, toward the river. Now, I wish there was a formation option. I can just tell these guys to go fast, but I really would like to be able to, say, like, line up in a formation. Right now, for example, they're in a linear, like, a line on the road. And I don't think if I move them over here, they're gonna, one's going to flank out to the right or left. I think that would be a nice uh, command. There might be, I don't know if there's a form line option. I don't see it in the in the sort of quick keyboard commands over here. Which is kind of unfortunate, but. So here we go, our troops are, our tanks are moving south a little bit. These guys really haven't started following the orders, have they? Oh, they're moving, they're just slow as fuck because they're infantry, alright. So these guys are moving, scout teams are moving slowly. We've destroyed what looks like three enemy vehicles, these are all BMPs over here, as well as setting this rubble on fire. And then we've destroyed two enemy tanks over here to the right. So enemy armor on the right flank destroyed. Two tanks and three APCs sort of in the center here. Okay. I'm moving in real time. I can speed things up as well. It's so like if I want guys to move quicker, I can do that. You can see here it moves. I don't. I don't know if that's double time or. But uh, anyway, so we're moving quickly over here on the right flank. We're not really actually doing anything, are we? <laughs> All right. What's this guy's line of sight over here? All right. So I think I'm going to do this. Let's. I don't want to unload all of these troops, but I am going to go ahead and tell these guys to unload here. And I'm going to tell this to unload over here. And this guy to unload here. So I'm actually going to have three squads unload on the opposite side of the river. They'll provide covering fire from this wood line, uh, rubble over here. And where did I send the middle one to? Over here. Actually, I didn't issue any orders for this guy, did I? So we'll do we'll do four then. So half this company 
is going to provide covering fire for crossing the river. The APCs also can still provide fire with their machine guns and whatnot, but I don't want my troops stuck in amphibious vehicles. Also, again, I don't know why there's neutral... I don't know if these are like elite infiltrator units. I think I read something like the game will have infiltrator units. Um, but I want to make sure that my troops get out of their APCs before they get blown up. So these units are all detached. You've got the little red square around them. And uh, the rest of these units are all still attached. So if I issue orders to this company, the orders will just be followed by these. Oh shit, who's taking fire? Why are you guys going that way? That seems like a bad route to take. So they're suppressed. There's enemy troops here. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down some HE for them as well. So you can see my tanks or my troop, my tanks and my mech, uh, my APCs are opening up on this enemy infantry unit, which just became exposed. And then I'm going to be dropping some arty down on them as well. If they survive. So you can see we actually, the, we didn't detect these guys here. Um, but once they opened fire... Then we did. So they opened fire on our scout team. Our scout team, I don't know if they took, doesn't look like they took any casualties. But uh, they're suppressed now. They're confident, however. They've got all this wealth of firepower coming in behind them. And so we've got tanks firing HE in on these guys. We've got APCs firing machine guns. So presumably these enemy troops are suppressed. I can't really see. It looks like they're right here. And as soon as this artillery is done adjusting, then we're going to go ahead and drop some HE on them. An enemy infantry in a field, not dug in, not in foxholes, I would imagine would be pretty vulnerable to artillery. But again, we got to get these... I think they're... I mean, certainly they're already suppressed. Uh... Ready? Fire for effect. Alright, so we're going to see our mortars start firing. I don't want to use all my tank rounds up as infantry support here, especially since there seem to be a lot of enemy vehicles. You can zoom out and zoom back in. I can hear... I think the mortar's firing in the distance. There you go. Mortar rounds are coming in. We'll probably lose sight of the enemy. I don't know if we'll actually kill him. So these guys have one casualty, I guess. Two casualties now. I don't know what they're taking casualties from. They're still under fire, apparently. From something. They're panicked. They have two casualties and they're suppressed. But we're claiming the enemy troops are destroyed. So we'll go ahead and halt the, uh, halt the fire there. We're claiming we killed them. So they're cowering and they're panicked. We'll leave these guys as is. So we'll actually go ahead and can we detach these guys? Oh, they already are detached. So we'll go ahead and issue orders for these guys to move over here. Or wait, no, they're not detached. I don't know what the best way is to detach them. Now they're detached, certainly. I can hear small arms fire. Oh, over here. So we've got a couple of casualties over here. They're shooting at this guy. It's another T-55. Shit. So it looks like there's a third enemy tank here. These guys are burned out and their smoke... Looks like one of them just stopped smoking. I don't think they can be reoccupied, though. So these guys have taken four casualties to this infantry squad. Again, I probably should be using smoke or something like that. Just firing main gun ammo and all that. He's clearly focused on the enemy infantry. I'm not sure. Can we see him from here? Where I move him? Looks like we can. But he's definitely, again, he's exposed his position here. Was that an anti-tank missile? Yeah! Got him! What was that? 
AT7. I think that was an AT7. Yes, it was. So that was a man pad. So actually, why don't you cancel? Stop your movement. All right, so the infantry took some casualties, took four casualties and panicked and suppressed. But they fired an anti-tank guided missile and destroyed a third enemy tank. So T-55 is burning up over here. I'm not sure if they all burn or if that's just their way of telling me for sure that they're dead. But they got them with an anti-tank guided missile. Um, so, so far we've destroyed one infantry squad, three APCs, or IFVs, and three tanks over here on the right flank. So I think, with our troops in place and with what we can see, I'm ready to move the rest of the company. I'm going to try and move them quickly in one burst. So I'm going to go ahead and move them quickly this way. And uh, my hope is this infantry and these tanks will provide the necessary cover in the event that we need cover. I suppose we can try and drop some smoke down too. Probably should have planned that before I issued the orders. All right, so so we're going to go ahead and drop smoke down as these APCs attempt to cross. Actually, let's delete all waypoints. And then we'll advance to contact just on the other side of the river. And then what I'm going to do is once they're across the river, I'm going to order them to start dropping their infantry, and we'll advance the infantry to the edge of this wood line as we kind of approach the crossroads here in the south from the right flank. So I'm going to try and take the right side of the map first and then swing west. And then once we are sort of swinging in from the right, then I'll move this mechanized infantry company south, and we'll start moving toward the western crossroads. But I think we're going to try and go with a right flank. We're going to use these woods over here. We're going to use the woods over here as well. And we're going to go ahead and hope that that's good enough for... Um, sort of shielding us. So we're going to go ahead and issue orders to all of these guys to fire for effect and start dropping their smoke in. Not sure how much smoke they get is, if that just comes out of their ammunition. I'm guessing it probably just comes, yeah, it just comes out of their stock ammo. So the ammo isn't divided up based on HE or smoke. It's just ammo. So you can see here we're dropping smoke in. Hopefully to shield the crossing. I don't know what the right sort of concentration of smoke is to make sure that the enemy can't see you. But we're doing that right as we're moving our mechs forward. So probably, I don't know if we're to the right level of thickness quite yet. I think we're going to adjust... Fire over here. We'll have these guys adjust smoke over here. And these guys adjust smoke over here. That's a lot of fucking smoke. How many rounds have we used up? Still got better than half of our ammunition complement. Go ahead and unload troops. Here. For you. Here for you. Here for you. So the mortars are ready. I'll bring more smoke in if necessary, but for the meantime we'll just hold the fire as long as that smoke is holding. Not doesn't seem like my BTRs are taking any fire as they're crossing the river here. I'm playing as uh, the USSR. So we're making the world safe for the motherland. For the great communist revolution.
These guys have sort of started to regain some of their composure. They're now nervous. So we'll move these guys over here. What's their line of sight over here on the left? They really can't see jack shit from here. What about these guys out in the middle of nowhere? What can they see? Go figure. They've got pretty damn good line of sight from where they're at, so I think we'll just keep them in position in the open because that's not dangerous at all. Thank you very much for the bits there. Uh, three dogs, so 618. Always appreciate the support. All right, so these guys are crossing so slowly, so slowly. What are these tanks? Their line of sight is what? Not very good if they need to do anything. Alright, so we're going to move our tanks across as well. Move this rifle squad into this debris. The scout team forward here to where this tank was. They're going to be doing this all on foot, so it is going to take some time. Move this scout unit forward into this building. This infantry's done their job covering the enemy, or I guess the artillery's probably done a better job of that, but... Move these guys to cover from the opposite side of the river. The BTR will go with them. These empty BTRs will also cross. I think this BTR will stay where it's at. Eh. Let's move them over here. Alright, so our troops are moving on the right flank. Let's move the headquarters a little bit further south into this town. Northern headquarters can kind of stay where it's at, and we'll keep everybody else basically in position. I wish I could figure out a way to just, what is the fast, what is fast move again? Uh, F. So maybe, there we go, I can right, so I can drag right and then I can just hit the F button and move all the units forward in uh, tandem. So we're going to move our infantry and our BTRs forward here to the edge of the woods. Again, everybody's moving in tandem. These mortars don't really have good firing positions, so we're going to go ahead and order they all cancel their strikes. We'll have to see. We're moving forward quickly, though, so it's a little bit risky with the infantry here moving. These guys, you can see, are going to take a couple of minutes before they're ready. You can see the route is this sort of weird checkerboard-like image. And we'll see as we move to the edge of this wood line what develops. These guys are moving in 28 seconds, so let's go ahead and Move a little bit more quickly, we're about 33 minutes into the battle. You can see these troops and these APCs are going to start moving. You can see the APC is tied to the infantry. Shit! We lost multiple APCs, we're taking fire, an enemy BMP-1. Fuck! Get up there quickly, tanks. Oh, those APCs are going to get hit and destroyed. A BMP is a much more deadly vehicle than a BTR-70 with just a machine gun. If you were smart, you'd reverse. I shouldn't have to give you 40 seconds to reverse. 
But, yep. All right, so what all got destroyed? All these BTRs. The infantry actually didn't. They were all on foot. So, that's good to know. Our infantry, on the other hand, they've all got AT7s for the most part, or RPGs, so they probably would fare better against an enemy uh, BTR. Let's bring some HE down on this guy. Pretty confident we know where he is. That's sometimes why maybe not always moving quickly is the best route. Uh, J Street, yeah, I guess that was the butcher movement right there, right? Damn the, uh, damn the losses, just take the objective. Not sure why these guys are suppressed. I'm guessing they're getting shot at from someone over here, but it doesn't tell me what. Someone's taking fire, but again, they don't know where they're getting shot at from. It's probably this BTR right here, or BMP. So how about you get in the woods? That's like where your cover is. So you can stop instantly, but you can't necessarily... All right, so mortars are firing for effect. I think they're going to fire a little bit short of where this guy actually is. Fuck. Adjust your fire. Adjust your fire. Is this tank engaging? Yes, he is. There you go. Man. There's nothing just like your tank just obliterating this enemy, these enemy BMPs. Oh, shit. Taking fire from over here. No, we just lost a T-72. Delete. What is over here? So we know there's enemy somethings. I don't know what hit me. I'm guessing it's another enemy tank. I just lost a motor rifle squad. I can't see shit. Just getting chewed up down this road line. I don't, again, I guess maybe because I'm ordering them to move fast is why they're moving the way they are. Maybe they just order them to scout. It's probably the smarter thing. All right, these guys are moving here. They're moving slowly, but they are moving this direction. So we've only got one tank on the right flank. Both those mortars, or two of our mortars, are ready to fire, I guess. Still says adjusting. Radio ready, radio ready. Open fire! Make it like World War I down there, gents. It's probably not the most efficient use of my fire. Better idea probably is to wait to have an actual target. But I think whatever is over here might be enemy armor. What is over here? All 
Alright, need to issue orders to cancel shooting. I burned through the majority of their rounds. Enemy BMP was just destroyed by a motor rifle squad. These guys are taking fire at extremely close range. Doesn't tell me what they're facing, though. We just lost two more rifle squads. Again, I don't know what they're up against. I keep losing these troops and not really getting a sense of what they're, sh they're facing. So, fog of war is a thing. So this guy's taking fire. Doesn't say where from. Shit. Charge the enemy tank! Or BMP! So that was hitting them in the flank. We've got one more tank over here. The enemy sure has a lot of... Alright, so it just destroyed that. So our tank is confident. And just destroyed that enemy BMP. It's like frickin' chasing... I don't know, a shadow? Again, I don't know if these are BMPs or what, what are they? Who's shooting at you from here? Infantry! Oh boy. My tank just went charging off there on its own. And it just got destroyed. Well, there goes the rest of our armor. Pretty good firefight developing over here. Actually, let's let's pause here. So we know we've got multiple enemy concentrations of troops. This is probably the perfect time to drop in artillery, at least on the guys who are back here. So we'll go ahead and do that. We don't have a lot of artillery left. I'm probably being a little bit too cautious. I guess this would be probably danger close. But we're going to try and bring artillery down on both these enemy formations. And frankly, let's try for over here too. It does look like our armor on the other side of the river over here does see this enemy infantry column. <laughs> we can't say shit! Yeah, this is definitely a graveyard right here. A Soviet graveyard. The Second Winter War. Perhaps. Anyway. Alright, so they're shooting at this BT, uh, BTR. They're definitely getting hits on it. But, um, we're also shooting back. Alright, ready. Roger that. We are firing for effect. I'm not sure why a Russian has some bizarre version of an American accent, but uh, that's apparently what I thought was the right thing to say. Anyway, guys, uh, joining back in and uh, just going to go ahead and cut this episode off here. Uh, we'll have one more episode to wrap up the battle, which we'll post probably tomorrow or so, maybe a day after. And, uh, and yeah, but that's my sort of second look at... Armored Brigade, a new tactical simulation out by Vetica Studios, published by Matrix and Slytherin uh, Games. And so far, I'm really enjoying myself. I am not the best tactical commander here. You can see I'm getting my troops bogged, you know, kind of shot to pieces 
along this roadway through this wood line. Uh, not the most intelligent of commanders, uh, no doubt, or most experienced of commanders, but it's a challenging game, and so far I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. Uh, with that being said, we'll wrap it up here in just a day or so. Let me know your thoughts below, and until next time, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.